we're going to find the equation of the line going through the point 6 comma negative 5 with a slope of negative 2 thirds using both slope intercept form and point slope form. So first, I'm going to use slope intercept form. If I'm using this form, let me take a quick copy of this statement, I know that the slope number m is where I'm going to plug the negative two-thirds. I do not know b right now because I don't have the y-intercept. So instead, we're going to replace x with the x-coordinate, and we're going to replace y with the y-coordinate, and we're going to solve for b. That's going to give me negative 5 equals, and my negative 2 thirds times 6 is going to give me, uh, since 3 goes into 6 twice, that's going to give me negative 4 plus b, oops, plus b, and then I could add 4 to both sides, and that would give me negative 1 for my b value. Then I'm going to put together the m and b value again to write the equation of the line. So I know that the line is going to be of the form y equals mx plus b. I already knew the m value, so I'll plug that in. And I've just found the b value, so we will plug that in for b. So the answer to what is the equation of the line will be y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 1. We're going to do the same thing over on this side using point slope form instead. So in this form, x and y stay letters, and then the coordinates go in for uh, x naught and y naught. So y naught comes first, plus m. My m number is negative, so we're going to have a minus two-thirds for our m right here, x minus, and our x coordinate, which is 6. Then we distribute. So this is y equals negative 5 minus uh, we'll have our two-thirds times x, and then negative, negative, so two-thirds times negative six, which gets us three, goes into six twice, so two times two is four. And combine like terms, I'm going to keep the negative two-thirds x, just put that first, and when I combine my like terms with negative five plus four, I get negative one. And again, this is the equation of the line. So both get us the same result in approximately the same number of steps. The difference is that in the uh, slope intercept form, I have to replace the letters x and y with the coordinates, solve for b, and then resubstitute m and b back into slope intercept form to get the equation. If I use point slope form, x and y stay letters, but x not y not become the ordered pairs. And this doesn't give me b alone. It's part of the equation, obviously, but it gives me the equation as its end result. So both can be used to achieve the equation of the line.